Well, you might notice the president statues in Rapid City looking warm in some winter clothing, but the sweaters, scarves, and hats are actually for people who need them the most during the winter. Kettleland Sydney Thorson brings us the story. The Hope Center in Rapid City provides warm shelter, meals, and clothing during the day for the homeless. We're open Monday through Friday, um, 8 to 4 on Monday through Thursday, and 8 to 2.30 on Friday. And so sometimes our guests are not able to get in here. Anyone in the community who has extra scarves, hats, or sweaters can participate by leaving a winter garment on the statue for someone in need. Having them available on the statues is very helpful to our guests in that um, they are there when we're not open and so they have access to some of those things. Folks could start adding winter apparel to the president's statues on November 15th. They can continue to do that through March 15th. This uh, period of time really captures uh, that period of time when it's the coldest in the area, uh, but also uh, kind of showcases the issue of uh, homelessness and, and people in need in the community. This also correlates with the National Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week. What we found ever since this started is no sooner are the items placed around the, on the statue, especially during cold, cold periods, you go around the block and the item's already been taken from someone who, who needs that item. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. If you'd like to donate to the Hope Center, the facility is also in need of more blankets and warm boots. We've included links under this story at Kelloland.com. Well, it's not the only spot in the state hanging winter gear outside for people in need. We also spotted some hats, gloves, and scarves hanging in trees near First Lutheran Church in downtown Sioux Falls for those who need them.